Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says he and U.S. President Donald Trump have agreed to work closely to improve their defense systems. The announcement follows North Korea's test of a missile capable of hitting the U.S. mainland. Abe and Trump spoke over the phone for 50 minutes on Monday. Abe spoke to reporters shortly after. The international community, including China and Russia, must take this grim reality seriously and increase pressure on the North. On Friday, the North claimed its second successful test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile. Meanwhile, the U.S. says it has conducted a successful missile defense test over the Pacific Ocean. On Sunday, the Pentagon said a military transport plane air-launched a simulated medium-range ballistic missile. It said a THAAD missile defense system located in Kodiak, Alaska, detected, tracked, and intercepted the target. This is the 15th intercept test using the THAAD system. The U.S. also flew two B-1 bombers over the Korean peninsula in addition to the THAAD test. The U.S. is in the process of installing the THAAD system in South Korea. The administration of South Korean President Moon Jae-in was initially cautious about the THAAD deployment, but over the weekend, the country's defense minister suggested Seoul will work harder toward the full-scale operation of the system. Now, Pyongyang has threatened to retaliate if the U.S. decides to take any punitive measures. We will respond with an act of justice if the United States continues with military pressure and sanctions. The statement repeated leader Kim Jong-un's message that the test was a stern warning to the United States. It says Washington should acknowledge the strategic status of North Korea, which has become a nuclear power that can launch intercontinental missiles. Sunday's edition of the ruling Workers' Party newspaper published an editorial criticizing the U.S. It said the Trump administration is attempting to increase sanctions against the North, both unilaterally and by mobilizing the U.N. Security Council.